Alright guys, so as you can see the lights are off in the middle of the day and uh, the reasoning behind this is um, I'm trying this new thing called uh, siesta period during the middle of the day. It's just a few hours to um, let the CO2 build up again um, because in a planet tank the plants use up CO2 when the lights are on and then they release it when the lights are off so during the nighttime your CO2 levels build up again and in the morning when the lights turn on, on the plants switch to using up the CO2 that they released so um, to give you, give you a little better picture of that I drew some graphs here these are uh, not exact by any means but uh, this is and this is the time when the lights are on so I'm not showing uh, during when, when you're asleep. This is when you turn the lights on in the morning and when you turn them off in the evening, say for like an eight hour period or however long you run your lights. In the morning when you turn them on, the CO2 levels are gonna go down consistently throughout the day. And they might even be extremely low at the end of the day if you have a, um, depending on how much light you have and all that, or the number of plants. And this is, so this is without the siesta period. This is with the siesta period during the middle of the day for a few hours. You can see the CO2 levels go down at the same rate, but during the siesta period, it gives plants uh, or the CO2 a time to go up to a more reasonable level. And then it continues to go down in the evening. So these are like five hour chunks maybe, and this is like a three, four hour chunk, depending on uh, how much light you usually put on your tank. But as you can see, the CO2 levels theoretically would start higher in the morning and end higher compared to this graph. You can see they start here and they start here. Now it probably wouldn't be this much of a spread in comparison, um, but this just gives you a general idea of what the what's behind the theory of the siesta period uh, explained by Sienna, Diana Walstead in one of her books. So um, this is just something I'm trying out. Uh, I think I've noticed some a little bit better growth in the past week by uh, trying this method and it's also kind of nice if you're away during the day um, and you're maybe at work or school or something so in the morning you can have your lights come on using a timer like this uh, you're definitely gonna need one of these if you try out this method because otherwise uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to remember to turn them on and off so uh, I set it on there to come on in the morning when I wake up and uh, before I go to school then uh, while I'm away there's a period where the lights are off so when I get home from school I'm able to uh, still see the tank for five hours or so uh, during the evening so that's just another benefit which is just sort of uh, convenience but uh, let me know if you have any experience with this or, um, or doing this currently. But I hope that these graphs sort of uh, explain this a little better. So, thanks for watching.